Dear friends, dear colleagues, welcome to our new episode of uh, BG Dental Tips. This time we will be speaking about endodontics and about necessity to observe and to examine isthmus in uh, multi-rooted teeth. And before I will show you some tips and tricks, again, I would like to ask you kindly not to forget to put likes to this video, to share it with your colleagues, and let's go. Okay, so we are back with our case. I would like to show you an X-ray, this initial situation. You can see the lower uh, first molar with a periapical lesion with a more or less uh, fine obturated root canals. And here is uh, the, uh, the filling before we start the case. And after I removed everything, carries the old filling, I would like to show you this image, which you can see the isthmus between uh, two root canals. And this is very strategic point for you for uh, extra examination, actually extra cleaning, because what we, we may have in uh, the isthmus, uh, we may find some extra root canals sometimes. Or you know that on the lower teeth, we can have uh, middle mesial root canals, which is between mesial lingual and mesial buccal canals. Okay, or even though if there are no uh, extra root canals, this isthmus, isthmus always full of organic tissues, which is a very good uh, atmosphere and environment for bacteria. So we have to clean it. And one of the way to clean the isthmus is to use very thin uh, bores that you can use for fissure tommy, for example, or you can use thin ultrasonic tips just to um, prep it a little bit so you can get a better uh, depot for the sodium hypochlorite for extra cleaning. And if there is a root canal, you will be able to find this root canal afterwards. So let's, uh, let's uh, see the video. Here you can see how I use this uh, curbite thin uh, bore, which is usually used for uh, minimum invasive uh, uh, fish atomy. So we are doing the uh, instrumentation of the isthmus with this bore. <clears throat> then we may use a very thin endodontic uh, explorers or uh, micro uh, opener, for example, which you can actually uh, scout the isthmus in terms of getting some tag back effect or which you would like to say and here we can see the hand file which is a hand file like c plus file number 10 i was able to go into this uh, widest part of the isthmus and then i used a rotary thin instrument just to get into this uh, tiny area and i was lucky to find the middle mesial root canal which is not very often, but we may know that we can find these canals in uh, around 30% of our lower first molar cases. But even though, again, I would like to highlight that you have to always uh, prep the isthmus to clean it up because there is always a lot of organic tissues. So here we have um, a middle mesial root canal. Here we have uh, initial x-ray. Here we have uh, the uh, instruments in the three uh, root canals and this is the image after final obturation. So I think that this case will uh, give you some uh, ideas, uh, especially to be uh, very attentive with Isthmus. And I would like that you, I would like to ask you to like this uh, episode and to share it with your colleagues and as usual, may the dental force be with you.